In last video, we discussed about velocity, acceleration, displacement, acceleration and time period in simple harmonic motion. Now in this video, we are discussing a detailed analysis and what type of questions we are expecting in this energy topic. So, students in last video, we discussed in simple harmonic motion equations in velocity, displacement, acceleration. Now, from that concept in our E set entrance exam compulsory one question is asking in energy topic. So, here energy is classified into two types one is potential energy and second one is kinetic energy. Here you must remember two formulas potential energy is equals to of m omega square y square and kinetic energy equals to of m omega square into r square minus y square. Here what is r means amplitude and y is displacement. So, questions here they are asking in terms of amplitude and displacement only because in this two equation m omega square is fixed values they are not focusing m and omega square they are asking only in terms of amplitude and displacement. Why because see here total energy is equals to potential energy plus kinetic energy. Here what is potential energy that is of m omega square y square and kinetic energy I am splitting into two parts that is of m omega square r square and minus of m omega square y square. Then total energy is equals to of m omega square r square. Here already that is a previous set question and very important question that is what total energy is independent of y. What is y? Displacement and what is the total energy formula of m omega square r square means total energy depends only on amplitude. So, students e three formulas ni mir correct ga oka correct way lo guttunch kunte 100 percent we are expecting one question. What are the three formulas? Potential energy, kinetic energy and total energy. So, total energy chala easy ga guttu pet coach because it is a combination of potential and kinetic energies. So, potential energy of m omega square y square and kinetic energy of m omega square into r square minus y square. Here how the questions are asking see here, here all questions I am explaining with a single graph. That graph is a two dimensional graph which gives the relation between displacement and energy. Here displacement is what? Y. So, x axis is what? Displacement that is y and y axis is what? Energy. And here when y equal to 0 then we are considering it is mean position. When y equal to 0 a position man we want to num mean position. Alage when y equal to plus r or minus r y equal to plus r and minus r we are saying that is extreme position extreme position y equal to plus r and y equal to minus r is what extreme position. Mean position extreme position. So, how the questions are asking see here at mean position what is the condition y equal to 0. At extreme position what is the value of y plus or minus r. If we consider mean position y equal to 0 then what is potential energy 0 because y value is 0 and what is kinetic energy y value is 0 therefore half m omega square r square. What is half m omega square r square total energy. So, question how they are asking means when the particle is in simple harmonic motion 
and if the particle is at mean position, then what is potential energy? Zero. Sometimes they are saying minimum also. Potential energy is zero and kinetic energy is maximum. That kinetic energy is equal to total energy. Remember that point. When the particle is at a mean position. And the second type of question we are expecting when the particle is at extreme position. So, when the particle is at extreme position means what is the condition y equal to r. If y equal to r from this formula see here of m omega square into r square minus y square what is kinetic energy 0 and what is potential energy of m omega square r square. Again what is of m omega square r square that is total energy. So, students these two questions only repeatedly they are asking at mean position what is potential energy kinetic energy at extreme position what is potential energy what is kinetic energy or they are asking at what position total energy equal to potential energy or at what position total energy equal to kinetic energy. These are level 1 questions. Level 2 questions they are asking when the displacement, displacement means what? Why? When the displacement is half of its amplitude, what is amplitude here? R. So, when the displacement is half of its amplitude means what that is y equal to r by 2 because here r is what amplitude what is y displacement. So, when the displacement is half of its amplitude see here I am substituting y equal to r by 2 in potential energy then what is the equation of m omega square y square that is what r square by 4. Now, I am writing what is of m omega square r square that is total energy. So, this potential energy this is potential energy. Now, I am writing that equals to T e by 4 T e by 4 means what when the displacement is half of its amplitude then how much potential energy consists that is one fourth of total energy, one fourth of total energy. Similarly, what about kinetic energy is asking same substitute this condition here what is y r by 2 then y square r square by 4 r square minus r square by 4 means what 3 r square by 4. Hence, kinetic energy value how much 3 by fourth of total energy. So, student this is level 2 question what is the condition here when the displacement is half of its amplitude. The same type of question in other entrance exams like M set, J E, NEET exam they are asking some level 2 question what is that one when the displacement is r by root 2 when the displacement is y equal to r by root 2 students. So, you remember that that point very important 1 by root 2 you must remember that is what 0 0.707 sometimes it is required and here anyhow y square is there then what is y square if y equal to r by root 2 yes y square equal to r square by 2 y square equal to r square by 2. So, when y square equal to r square by 2 then what is potential energy of m omega square into r square by 2 again of m omega square r square is what total energy that means when the displacement y is equals to r by root 2 then potential energy is half of its total energy. If potential energy is half of total energy means what about kinetic energy simply it is also half of total energy. So, they are asking question at what 
displacement at what displacement potential energy is the same as its kinetic energy simply remember y equal to r by root 2 then we require 1 by root 2 value what is 1 by root 2 0 0.707 simply you multiply with r value so students once again i am telling compulsory one question is asking from this topic you remember only four conditions when the displacement is at mean position that is why r particle when the particle is at extreme position or when the displacement is half of its amplitude or when displacement y is equal to r by root 2 they are asking what is potential energy what is kinetic energy what is total energy just you remember two formulas and substitute every condition about y one case y equal to 0 another case y equal to r third case y equal to r by 2 and last case y equal to r by root 2.